I was trying to keep a straight face while my safe place was shaking like an earthquake. I took a breath to calm my nerves. I prayed for the death of spoken words. Just keep me safe inside my mind. My breath was a saddle over time. And I was riding it like a memory. I was just floating around the room. I had my eyes glued to the history of the things that we used to do. I'm telling time, just take me to that time that heals my wounds. And it's true. But only inside my head. Because if I opened my eyes wide, I'd still be sitting on the bed with a pillow trying to shield me from the words that she just said of, babe, please. I have to live. So I'm up hoping that I had heard wrong when I remembered that all of her socks were rolled like little bombs, leaving tiny girls to detonate while she unpacks at her mom's, and the only safe place that I have is that space that she was packing at. And so I go to bed, but instead of calm comfort, I can't help but curse the cotton thread for not touching me back as softly as I wanted to fall asleep. So you couldn't really blame me for the hope that I would keep. I fall asleep, wondering what it was doing in Pandora's box of evils. Hope, like a blessing. But it's humanity's greatest curse, because hope of all the evils has to be the worst. Hope means to endure. The time that it takes these memories to drift like paint. I ain't remembering perfect pictures on walls. It's all pooling puddles. The floor is creeping up to the ceiling. The more that I'm feeling loss, more loss than I had ever known. In a blanket fort, I used to call my home. Sorry. <laughs>